how to make smooth cutouts in GIMP. My idea here is we're going to cut out our model and in this step I'm going to show you how to cut her out smoothly and the next plan is going to be to put her bench here outside this great manner. That is going to be another video where we uh, combine two images together nicely. So let's get to this. Right now this image I have already brought over here. We're going to come over to the right and make sure the layer we have here we're going to add a layer mask. There's a number of ways of doing this, but this is the way I'm going to show you. Here, we're just going to have a white opacity added. So here, the mask has been added. Next, this is the best tool for this I have found. Free select tool. That is a bad boy tool because the other one, which is the foreground select tool, it's a bit ridiculous because you have to basically go around the image, select the image, and then similar to what I'm doing you kind of paint around the object then you go inside and keep painting what you want to keep so it, to me it seems like double double the work basically so the amount of time it takes on that I did do a separate test where I paired it up and did this way and that way to see which one is better and I found this one was quicker but if you spend enough time on it you can get it nice with this Whereas a foreground just seems a bit too intense to me to kind of make it so multiple. Let's make that a little bit fancy there. See what happens with that. Okay. So let's see how this one does. You can see the timer on screen or just look at the YouTube video and see how long it's actually taking me to do this. Obviously, Photoshop is better for this kind of thing because you've got the quick selection tool. But you know what? We're not big Photoshop fans here, boys and girls. We like to gimp it up. Okay, so in this example, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the bench with her. So let's take the bench with her because obviously in that manner scene, we want the bench there. Let's go whack, 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 wham, bam, strawberry, jam. We'll do a good job of this because we want to make it nice and smooth. And then I'll show you the key. I might speed this little bit up now just okay so we made the selection there I'm gonna right click on her and do edit and then copy visible I'm gonna open up the other background I'll do you a quick preview I'm gonna make this a bit better in the next video but I'll show you what it looks like paste it over it becomes a floating layer uh, just rescale it I'm not sure where I want it yet I've not included the bench I've uh, well GIMP actually crashed so I just did the selection again which shows you what GIMP can be like sometimes so make sure you save your work while you're working on it so what we will do now I'll just put on the wall for now just to give you an idea so you'll see in the thumbnail what it looked like we'll add a few color correction bits on there nothing too fancy added a few blur layers just to kind of smooth it in the lighting on her could be better um, in terms of making a blend in with the background, the manner style, and almost like a, a dollhouse kind of idea where she's big and she's got a dollhouse that looks real kind of thing. I don't know, whatever you think of it. It might make a cool thumbnail, but big house, a uh, bigger model. So adding a few RGB colors on there with a soft light tinge will kind of help her blend in slightly, which I'll do in a second. So we'll add a couple of uh, new layers and see how you like that there you go make sure you check out the other videos of epic gimp edits i was going to say epic photoshop edits there for a second but that word is forsaken we cannot say that ps word on gimp channel wham bam strawberry jam okay here we go here we go